Hey friends, what's up? Kaz here. Welcome back to another Minecraft server tutorial. Now this one is a lot of fun. This one I've used on my server in the past and it's a great little bonus, uh, fun tool. Uh, I use it mainly for donors, but you could use it for some other stuff in the game. And this is name tag edit. Now, uh, it's really simple. It's really easy. First, we're going to go over what it looks like in the game and how to use it. And then we'll go over the config file and then we'll go over the permission notes. So this will be as quick as I can make it without with making it as clear as I can. So first thing we can do is we can see that is it in action. It By default, it has a few custom ones set up. And so this will put admin in front of anybody who's an op. And that's pretty cool. It just puts it in front of the name. It's kind of like the scoreboard above name if you know or above player if you know that one and this is how it works now as soon as we do this it's going to clear out that custom one because this will take precedence but we'll show you how to change that so you can do ne or nte whichever one works if ne is conflicting with another plugin and we're going to do suffix that just means it's going to put it to the end and then we're going to do cause for Christ. And now, the one thing you want to do is you don't want to just put a word in here because what it's going to do is just put it at the end and it's going to be the same color as the username and it's not going to have a space. So how you do a space is you do a quote and then the word. So we're actually going to put bracket here and then it'll actually use custom color codes. I'll put a link in the jibbles below to all those, those color codes there and then we're just going to do hacks. Because everybody likes to accuse me of hacking when I'm playing Quakecraft. And then we have to reset the color. So this color will only be on for the next letters. And then we're going to reset the color back to white, which is F. And then be sure to end it with quotes or else you'll have a quote in your username. And there it is. So that is that for there. Now, if you want to set... Um, now, for setting the front one, that's just prefix. Prefix. And then... Um, the great and then actually um what is this what is what is red red is is four okay and we'll put four in there there we go see now uh the great cause for christ hacks yep yes i do all right then then if you want to uh, remove all the prefix and suffix for a player it's ne clear cause for christ there we go and that goes back to the default which that's how that's set up so that is it for that let's get into the config file okay so here we are in the config file now i already got it started i use spigot which you just gotta use this this file that i provided to start the server just drop this jar file this bad file in here start the server once and it'll load all of these files and these folders then hit stop and then um, come in here, put this jar file in here, start the server, and then stop. And now you can come in here and it should create this folder. And now you have all of these files. So what you can do in here, you can right click on it, edit with Notepad++, which I highly recommend. And there isn't a whole lot to this one, like I said before. And um, you can do tablets enabled. Now, by default, this is all the defaults here. So you can probably not even touch this after you start the plugin but you do tablets enabled false and that will um if you set that to true it'll remove any formatted in um the tab list so if you have any other plugins that do that don't set this up or else it'll wreck all of that and then this one might be good if you set this to true and then you add this to yourself this permission node it'll notify you every time you log in that there's an update for the plugin which is really handy and then um, this one, I think this one's worded backwards. If you set this to true, it should um, put the prefix and suffix in the console. So by default, it's false, um, which it'll probably, probably be better to leave it that way. It'll keep your console a little cleaner. So that is it for the config file. Let's take a look, before we get into the permission nodes, let's take a look at some of these cool little uh, text files in here. The first one you can do is you can get open the groups now this is nice because it lets you add a custom um, a custom permission nodes and that you can add to groups so when people you could even use this for like if you have a prison server you can have it so it shows the person's group above their 
username. So you put a uh, name tag dot group dot C or whatever, and then the the prefix is just C in here. So other people can see that the, oh they're they're a C prisoner or whatever. These are the ones that are just in there by default, and this one's assigned to ops. Anybody who's an operator in that so feel free to have some fun with that that could be some pretty cool stuff that's about it for that so let's hop in and check out the permission okay so now that we got that config file set up we're going to check out the permission nodes so they're pretty easy name take edit dot use it just allows people to use the ne command or nte command so it'll let them set their prefix and suffix for their players itself um if you want them to be able to set it for other players like mods who are walking around just checking make sure people aren't using inappropriate name tags but you can give them name tag edit dot use all and that's all there's there's two admin ones uh reload and update but usually if you're an op you, you should have those um and uh yeah that is it for that like i said really simple plugin hopefully you guys like it and have some fun with it i used it personally i didn't give anybody permissions to set their own their own prefixes and suffixes i used bycraft so they could like purchase a prefix or suffix for a couple bucks or reset it for a dollar or 50 cents or something like that and then it was just all run from bycraft which is pretty cool so check out that tutorial on how to use bycraft if you want to use it in that manner so that is all hopefully you guys found it helpful if you have any questions feel free to ask them below i'll do my best to answer and um yeah check out the link i'll put uh i didn't think about i didn't think i would put the download for the server up because i didn't really modify anything in it i used everything default for this uh tutorial so yeah this is Kaz from mick friends Please leave a like, comment, and subscribe below, and always remember, enjoy the game. <laughs> Run away, I just saw Mary. Somehow you were in the wall. <laughs> <laughs> hey, audio. I just look, I look at Cosby, he just disappears <laughs> in the wall. <laughs> that was perfect. <laughs> that was